This is Matt Cross. You are watching Ambi. It's Alicia from Ambi, and I would like to welcome you to our interview with Matt Cross. Welcome. How are you? Awesome. How are you doing? Yeah, doing all right. It's been a little bit, but I feel it's a good time to catch up. We're here yes. at Smash in Toronto. How are you feeling about everything that went down? Great. It was awesome. It's my first time in this venue in particular. Uh, I heard a lot of good things, and it was fun. That's my first ever match with uh, the hacker. Mm -hmm. uh, I think he's awesome, so I've been watching him for years. So I was very happy with uh, how it turned out. Before this, you were actually in Australia, and the photographs you posted made me incredibly envious, especially <laughs> the one with the koala and the kangaroos. Yes, they were, yeah, 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 yeah. We went to a wildlife park where there was like over a hundred free-running kangaroos. So when we first went in, like everyone saw the first kangaroo and was like, ah, ah, <laughs> ah, and the people that worked there were like, just walk like yeah. 10 more feet and there's hundreds. Really, and you're supposed really to, not many. Uh, over a hundred, yeah, literally. Yeah. And you're supposed to feed them like really low to the ground. Um, maybe for safety or whatever. So of course I'm like, oh, uh, like, and then they're rearing up on their hind legs and there were some that were bigger than I am, like taller and like they looked like they weighed more, like, so, and their claws are huge, so they're docile, but you could see how they could like destroy you easily if they wanted to, so that was cool. Um, and there was like wallabies and, yeah. and koalas and yeah, it was super cool. Wasn't it also a wombat that you saw? Yes, yes, um, yeah, the wombat was like a, a portly guy. Uh, and they <laughs> just picked him up and he was like, <laughs> So fat. It was awesome. Just like perfectly around like a beach ball, like a, a live beach ball that like didn't That's awesome. care about anything. It's just like, oh, oh, this part of the day or I get picked <laughs> up again. So it was very, very, very cool. That was the highlight, I think. Well, something that you're always talking about, which I completely love, is passion. Yes. Your passion for what you do and you put so much passion into every little aspect of your life. So I kind of wanted to go back to the beginning of what kind of drove that initial or what the spark was to get into wrestling because we haven't t talked on that yet. Yeah. Um, ironically, like my buddies were really into pro wrestling. So my background was gymnastics, so I did that competitively for 11 years. And then when I watched wrestling with my friends, it was ECW. And that's what like ignited my love of wrestling because I saw it as this like crazy athletic showcase. And I was watching like Tajiri versus Super Crazy and RBD versus Jerry Lynn. And I was just like, I don't like I don't know what this is. Like it's not what I would recognize as wrestling, but it's yeah. the coolest thing I've ever seen. And then it's like I always go back to it, but it's like I like punk rock and like ECW. I'm not even sure it was wrestling even now, reflecting back on it. Like, I think it was just, like, punk rock in a different medium. Okay. So when I watched it, and, like, every fan was, like, standing up. And I remember this one time where the fan was, like, it was on a folding chair like we have. But he was holding it above his head. And I'm like, what is he doing? Mm -hmm. But it, had, it was, like, dangerous. And I'm like, <laughs> is he going to throw it? Or is he going to hit somebody with it? Like, in the crowd. And I was just like, that's, like, I'm scared. But, like, I like that. Kind of, yeah. Because even the when thrill. I would go to shows when I was a kid, I was like... Even now, like, if you go to a hardcore show, it's like, am I going to get punched in the face? You know, like, but there's something to be said for that. Yeah. So that just spoke to me, like, I, for whatever reason. I don't know if that's good or bad. But, like, the danger inherent in the crowd, because the crowd was as much a part of it as the wrestlers. Like, it wasn't just, we're here sitting on our hands, like, to watch a show. Sorry. It's to fun. watch a show. It was like, we are an equal part of this. Like, we are part of the show. And I, and I just like that connection, because that's, again, like, what punk rock is to me. It's not they're better. They're just, they're... When I first saw Against Me, they intentionally set up in front of the stage. So all the opening bands played on the stage, mm -hmm. and they're like, okay, our turn to play, and they put the instruments on the floor, and I was like 21 or something, and I was like, that's it, that's it. That like It blew my mind, and I was like, I relate to that on this like crazy, crazy, like that's the deepest level, because it just spoke volumes, and I was like, yes, like why play on a stage? Like play down here with me, and like <laughs> I want to run into you, and like, because like James would get hit, and then like his mic would hit his teeth, and it was like, it would suck and like but I was like oh man like I need that that energy or whatever so then I just I just saw that in wrestling at that period and I was like I want to be a part of that and that's what I'm even drawn to now is like I'm I'm almost it's like almost saying too much because I'm like consciously looking for ways to increase like contact <laughs> like like I want to do a dive and like I want to hit you <laughs> like, so like it used to be like that's probably not a good idea but like I don't care like I, I want to hit you because like that's what I want to happen when I go to shows and stuff. Like, I want to run on heads, and I want to stage dive, and I want to whatever. And that's what I so you're right up to. there in the pit then, still. So. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, 100%. Like, literally. <laughs> so, <laughs> yes. Um, and I hope to be for as long as I can. Like, I'm not, like, going crazy. Like, I want my own little space to kind of dance. Yeah. Um, I'm not, like, doing, like, the karate expo. Of, like, now that the world knows, too, that you like to dance, you can say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. You blew my cover on that one. It's like, man blush. Yes. Um, yeah, I like to dance. You broke the story on that, so. <laughs> 
I've had people reach out to me since, and they're like, oh, you <laughs> look at really? that. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. yeah Everyone wants to know more about that. So. I was going to say sorry, but I'm not going to. Yeah. <laughs> Super tough guy, like hardcore dancing. That's what we were talking about. Now that dancing was brought up, I kind of do have to lead that into break dancing. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's the thing. When did you start doing that? In high school. Uh, my buddies and I just really liked it. Um, I'm trying to think of the catalyst. I think I heard, like, the Beastie Boys licensed to ill, and, like, everyone in the world is, like, vaguely familiar with the concept of break dancing, mm-hmm. but I think that's the first time I ever heard something that was so specifically like a break beat. And and I like hip hop when it's like really, really I don't wanna call it simple, but like when it's just that like drum and bass kind of whatever. So when I heard just like licensed ill or whatever, I was just like like even if you don't like break dancing, you want to break dance, I felt like. Like it just came out of my body. It was in me somewhere. Because <laughs> I heard it and I was just then I remembered that concept that I was loosely aware of from like a movie as a kid or something. Because I just heard it and I was like Oh, wait, it's time to, like, I need to break dance now. And I just got really into it with my buddies. Um, to the point where we, like, I did some competitions and stuff. Really? So, yeah, yeah, it was funny. Um, like, <laughs> I did this one, and, like, everyone had a cool, like, b-boy name or whatever. Uh, I did not. So, I was in the competition, and they're like, oh, this dude's whatever. I remember the one guy that ruled. His name was Master Dan. So, like, Master Dan was killing everybody, whatever. <laughs> so, they get to me, and they're like, what's your name? And I was like... I'm just Matt, dude. Like, <laughs> so he's like, my man just Matt in the house, and I'm like, <laughs> just Matt. I'm like, great. So then I was just Matt because <laughs> like, I didn't have a cool, I didn't have a cool b-boy name. So if anyone can help me out, maybe that's where I came up with M Dog Twenty. To be fair, maybe because I needed like my cool b-boy name. So, <laughs> but yeah, just a break dance. Break dancing for me when I think of it automatically goes hand in hand with old school rap, which I know is yes. something that you're of course a fan of. Absolutely. But how would you classify yourself on the rapping scale? As a rapper? Yes. Uh, untested <laughs> like, uh, uh, yeah I don't know if I've ever like uh, I'm sure you rap along to things right n- novice yeah uh, yeah yeah is this, 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 this is the NWA transition <laughs> oh I, god I know some NWA I know all NWA we'd have to bleep though every other thing that we say it's true I, I like yeah like Run DMC uh, Old Beastie Boys uh, Public Enemy like NWA. Yeah, it's all like, the stuff that I jam to for us. Yeah, all the old, 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 old stuff. Like, like the break dancey style stuff. Mm-hmm. Like, I can't really relate nowadays to, like, sing-songy choruses and, like, and I don't like when there's nothing behind it. It doesn't have the attitude. Like, it doesn't feel as, as passionate. Like, it was punk-y, for mm-hmm. lack of a better term, yeah. almost. And then, like, even, I know early hip-hop, like, the, the only place they could get booked was, like, the punk clubs, because, like, punks were like, I don't know, that's crazy, let's come here and do it. <laughs> And, and, like, the rest of the world has shunned it, and now it's, like, the biggest thing ever. But I like that, like, there's that tie-in. But nowadays I can't relate when it's, like, bitches rims. I'm, yeah. like, no. <laughs> like, I don't, that doesn't, that doesn't speak to me. It doesn't inform my worldview, like, some of the bands that I listen to. I'm just, like, I don't, I don't, I don't want to put big rims on my car, and I don't, like, disrespect women. Like, oh, cool. Like, I, I don't know. So it's just, like, nah, I'm good with that stuff. So yeah. most of the stuff nowadays I just really can't relate to. But maybe it's just because... I want. I, I yearn for the days of like those simpler break beats of like too. just run DMC. Like, yes. You want <laughs> like, to like right up in your face when you hear it, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Just like the, I don't know, some element of danger, and now it's almost too, just like in every commercial and everything, yeah. and like you're supposed to like it. So it's like, ah, where's that like? I mean, Grits. think about how crazy like NWA was saying like let's let's go kill police. Like, that's the craziest thing you could possibly say. And then they're like, okay, we're just gonna say that. So and especially at that time, it's like whoa. So. Yeah, that that's awesome. <laughs> Just to go out like that crazy on a on a limb and be like, say something so nuts is like, that's pretty punk. If you could have anybody write a theme song or entrance for you, who would that be? And I think I might, I might know. I'm not there'd sure. be there'd be I'm sure whoever I would love. Uh, I, one is tough to pick. I'm gonna go rancid. Okay. Because I feel like it's doable. So Lars, if you're an Ambi fan, which I'm sure you are. Um, because I know that they wanted to do one for CM Punk. Yes. But for whatever reason, like, he didn't. But I'm on the indies, so I can do whatever I want. Guy. So if you do that song, 100%. Uh, a band, Peel Under Z, um, also offered, and I would love for them to do it. They do. They, they describe themselves as, like, kung fu action comic Japanese noodle punk or something like that. Okay. Uh, it's awesome if you've never heard them, Peel Under Z. Uh, I've been friends with them for years. So they've offered, but they haven't come forth with it. But, um, yeah, I mean... Against Me would be pretty amazing as well. So either Against Me or Rancid. Okay, I was going to go with Face to Face. Oh, that'd be good too. That would be that'd be very cool. <laughs> I should come out to like, here's here's a funny anecdote. So like, obviously we have entrance music as wrestlers, yes. like to pump us up. 
I remember one time thinking to myself, like, I got these, like, new headphones or whatever. I'm like, oh, man, I should listen to music I really like, like, in headphones when I come out to, like, pump myself up. And I was like... As you come out? Dude, I'm pretty sure that's called entrance music. I think it's time to change your song if you want to wear headphones <laughs> to give you a song that'll pump you up. So, what an idiot, right? Like, my buddy, Josh Prohibition, he would make, like, a mix CD of ten songs that he liked and then give it to the promoter or the music guy or whatever and be like, just pick a number. So he wouldn't know, but he'd like all the songs. Oh. And that way, something would come on that he loved and be like, I love the song, and it'd yeah. be him. I want to maybe and that do that. element of surprise also would kind of get you amped, right? Yeah, because then you wouldn't, you wouldn't be like, oh, my song. You'd yep. just be like, here's a song that I love yeah, coming really on. Cool. Which, so I think that's a good idea. Awesome. Well, let's strap things up. Any parting words for the wrestling fans viewing? Thanks for checking us out. I got some great feedback uh, last time, so I enjoyed that. Uh, check out Alicia's Q&As. Uh, very good. And uh, check out WrestlingsForever.com if you haven't already. I've been repping that shirt so much. Oh, thank you. Yeah, much appreciated. <laughs> You're probably getting so many notifications, but yeah, the merch is absolutely awesome. So congrats. Thank you. Got new shorts uh, two days ago, so I I'm saw. excited about that. Bunch yeah. of new stuff coming, so it's been good. Sweet. Remember to everyone viewing, you can visit us at amusicblogget.com for all exclusive interviews, features, videos, and so much more. See ya.